In this video, I demonstrate how to get summary or descriptive statistics for interval variables. Such statistics provide a shorthand way of knowing about a variable in your data. They cover measures of central tendency, dispersion, and minimum and maximum values, among other points of information. The command to run summary statistics in Stata is quite straightforward. It's simply the command summarize, or the shorthand version is simply sum, and then a list of your interval variables. You can obviously complicate that later, but I'll show you how to do that through the menu system. I'll run this command using the example of a variable called socTrust. You can see that this simple command gives us the number of observations, the mean, the standard deviation, and the min-max values for the variable. Alternatively, we can add the option detail. This returns a little bit more information. In the left column, we see the values that demarcate different percentile marks. If you run a box plot, you'll see the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles come into play there. The 50th percentile is actually the median. The second column is unrelated to the percentile column. What this column lists are the four smallest and four largest values for the variable. And on the right, we see the number of observations, the mean, the standard deviation, and measures of skewedness and kurtosis. For skewedness, any value above zero indicates a positive skew. Any value below zero indicates a negative skew. Here it's negative, so we know that the data trail off to the left. For kurtosis, a measure of how peaked our distribution is, we have a value of 3.586. We can compare that to a value of 3 for a normal distribution. In that regard, we're not too far off. Now to run the summarized command through the menu system, simply click on Statistics, Summary Tables and Tests, Summary and Descriptive Statistics, Summary Statistics. Here you'd insert the variable of interest. You could insert multiple variables if you wish. If you wish to display additional detailed statistics, you'd click on this button. I'm going to leave it on the standard display. I also want to show you the Buy If In tab. If you wanted to parse your variable by groups, simply click the Repeat command by groups, and you'll get the summary statistics for groups within a categorical variable. Let's do it for race and ethnicity here. And go ahead and hit OK. You can see that it gives us the summary statistics, but broken out by the different race ethnic groups. So that's how you get descriptive statistics on interval variables. You may wish to additionally run histogram or box plot graphs to visualize your data, or run the SK test for normality. I demonstrate these in other videos.